Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let, now let's talk about my weekend. Hi everyone, I'm coming. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we're talking about my weight gain. And I don't know, facially you can see what I'm seeing. Like you can see my cheeks have grown bigger and all that. And physically as well because my uniform at work was surprisingly so tight, so small, especially even though they were my size, like actually my size. But it was weirdly, even if it ran small, it was still weirdly too small. Anyway, aside from everything that has been going on with me, I think, I, 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 I don't know if I said so before, I took the um, injection which is I think they call it Boca or something injection that helps you um, for my period pains because I have really pain for periods and I'm always taking velvet and I thought to myself if I want to have kids in the future that's that's a lot of velvet to be taking per month it's going to affect it's going to you know in the long run there will be some consequences so I said to myself I'm going to take this bed control and also because it stops your period anyway so i went on i took it i took the pfizer one which was you know how pfizer i don't know if you took covid test the area you took it in kept spinning you so it did that for a while but oh my bum and then the first few days i was having like it's a few weeks because three months then you top up and i was having like mad mood swings i'm coming from around just start crying like it was just weird but i kept remembering reminding myself mentally that it's the birth control it's you know it is it is my body you get I didn't let myself one day I start thinking oh this life I want to kill myself you know how bad it can get sometimes so I just kept reminding myself that and the fact that I could give my mind a reason why it is happening kind of calmed my mind down that aside do I have big things I think so yes <laughs> that aside I also had to go through like um, I didn't notice the body change in Sheffield and I don't even think there was one in Sheffield because you know my job then was about like walking up and down the train so I think that kind of helps I don't know maybe that kind of kept me skinny or whatever I don't know but I think my clothes in Sheffield ran small but I thought maybe it's the washing machine maybe they shrank or something which I think they actually did that's my uniforms I think they shrank and then coming here to London I don't really do much I just stand in one spot sometimes at work and it's not even like if I calculate 30 times I stand it's not even up to four hours that I stand and you know I I'm gonna say this job I currently do is not as stressful which is weird even though my friend said, oh, because my friend had done something similar, she was like, no way that she's never doing this job again. It is not as stressful as my other job. So I can say that maybe, and also because, yeah, at my other job, I had like, sometimes I had to climb flights of stairs at home because the elevator wasn't working. So I was, I was constantly being active. But here, it's like, once I get home, I eat, I lie down on the bed, I don't really do anything and also I have the free pass in London so even places I'm supposed to walk to like I would take the bus, I would always like, I wasn't very active so I started hiding on like my tummy now, let me show you, let me show you, it's not showing bro, it's there, it's there, but I've been doing exercise recently so it might have reduced but then I noticed like it just felt my body just felt heavy and I didn't like how I was feeling but I've not gotten on the scale but I know there's a difference because I used a table to manage to measure my waist and I've had the same waist I've had the same like even the clothes they sent for me from Nigeria that clothes should have fit I have the same waist since like how many years now like five years going I've had the same body measurement and that has suddenly changed and I know the weight the scale is going to change as well but I've not seen the scale yet I'm still very much celibate and that was one of the reasons why I considered not getting it again now that I'm in London I've gotten a message from my GP telling me to go and get a top up and I was thinking okay I'm going to go and get a top up and everything but I thought to myself is it worth it how I feel is it worth like how I feel about myself if I get fatter would I be happier and I don't want it to be a situation where I took one injection to get a problem solved and then I have to take Ozempic to solve another problem. Do you get what I mean? 
so i've just decided to stop because of that and i've also decided to stop because it's not like i'm having sex with anybody and there's no point i can use medicine to like control the pain or control what i eat the intake of sugar all those type of things i can i can adjust it if you get what i mean and i just thought to myself okay and even if i was having sex or anything that i can take another form of birth control that would not cause me to get fat and also because there's always going to be consequences i can't say to myself that my body will not perform its bodily function and would not get a repercussion and there will not be any repercussion for it so i've just said i'm going to stop i've asked my friends who have been on it and they've all said i should stop right now that i have control of it that once it gets worse they all had something to say like girl you need to stop that kind of thing so i'm going to be stopping and um like i said i'm not on youtube i am taking a break you know i'm not on instagram i'm taking a break so if you want any form of update from me you have to come to my youtube and actually listen and get to know me yeah and also today i should go out it's sunny but it was raining a few minutes ago so i'm quite scared of what's to come and at this time it's what time two o'clock i want to go to rich in fact don't worry i'm going to go to a pub near my house i can't drink alcohol because i'm working tomorrow I'm going to go. I'm going to go and you know look at the people, see what they're doing. I've always wanted to pop, you know. And my hair, oh god, see, I don't know what to do. I wish it was longer. Like, I don't know, man. I wish I could like really, really accept my natural hair, like fully be in love with it. But I just, it just stresses me out. But I know I am going to get to that point where I'm totally in love with it. It's just because it's short. At the moment well i'll get there and i hope every one of you is doing fine and if you're considering taking the injection just don't i know that um for me the reason why i didn't take the pills is because i said to myself that um i'm not going to keep to the to the um timing that i have to take it every day but i think i'm willing to do that and also or i will take the iud but i know it's very painful and i don't know or the coil i don't know i know those two are very painful and they make you bleed a lot which i don't want but i might go on the pill which is something i'll consider later on but for now you know and i also started exercising the first few minutes i was just laughing at myself because i thought i'm so serious i'm exercising because my heart is quite weak um, not like I know from a doctor or something, but because I can't run as a skinny person or somebody as skinny as I am I should be able to cover a certain amount of distance Before fainting or something, but I can't do it that also I saw the amount of oil I ate by myself and I said now nah, girl, you need to do something about this or else it's going to catch you up in the long run and i bought some shoes from spot direct and within how many days i want it once the next day is already having patch patch i've asked them for my refund in this uk i've learned to be a karen you need to be a karen to get your things sorted as a nigerian stop feeling like you can't complain or see your mind out which i think is something like one day my friend ordered the bubble tea and they gave her the wrong thing and i said you gave her the wrong thing and they were like i said you give her the wrong thing and they changed it there's no problem not nothing jiggy you don't have to pay for it again if they give you the wrong thing you say that they gave you the wrong thing and they will do it again because what's that it doesn't take anything away from the money to make you to give you the satisfaction you deserve as a customer so do not let that indoctrination i don't know if i'm using that word correctly get to you in terms where you don't feel satisfied by a service so if something is wrong or something spoils or you don't like something return it or speak your mind or say oh this is not good enough which i've learned to you this is not good enough this is unacceptable i'm fully british anyway uh my visa expires october 14th i'm going still here anyway i just wanted to say I don't know what's in God's plan, but I want you to remember something. If you watched the video about when I got my troubles, like yeah, policies will change for me. When I when I uploaded that video, I was Rishi Sunak had said um election was I think after I uploaded that video, Rishi Sunak said, Oh, he does not think an election before October is likely or an election before this thing is likely. And all of a sudden overnight it's saying July fourth, like you know so i don't know what's about to happen and i don't know if it's going to work out in our favor but god has a plan and 
please read numbers 14 it's a really nice chapter it's a chapter that really spoke to me do not romanticize your past do not romanticize your egypt do not romanticize a place where you were suffering just because you are used to it or you know how the pain feels and how long it's going to take you get that kind of thing be welcoming to the future that you do not know about be welcoming to the future that god has promised you be welcome to the thought of what could be and be welcome to the power of what god can do to make you comfortable to make your story change to give your future that you deserve oh my god pastor this is really so i can't wait god is speaking to somebody today and i'm just letting you know that smile through it everything will be okay and god will truly come true for all of us okay and um yeah i should make more fun videos but trust me this summer i know all the time we're outside okay i'm going to share my experiences with you and we're going to have so much fun but that's just what i wanted to talk about and i will see you later i want to go and cook spaghetti and eat with my leftover pepper it's not going to be broke or well, everything will be fine okay i'll see you guys later uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh.